Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Mazhar Ali, and I welcome you back to course Introduction to Computers. Uh, today we will discuss uh, we will discuss the storage devices in uh, lecture. The storage devices uh, uh, of the computer hardware uh, used to store the different type of data. The majority of computers are using storage uh, drives like the hard drive. So drives can uh, provide a lot of space that can be used to store applications, documents, data, and uh, all the other stuff uh, you need to uh, get your work done. Like you may store the photos, videos, audios, and all the other type of the data and hard disk. So there are two types uh, of the storage. Now one is called a memory, and the second is called a storage so memory is a basically uh, primary memory uh, means there is a one is a primary memory and a second is a secondary memory in the computers so since the memory is a volatile means the primary memory is a volatile memory which does not store the data permanently since the secondary memory store the data permanently therefore the primary memory may be recognized as a ram random access memory or uh, volatile memory which is also called <coughs> as i told you primary memory so <coughs> a computer performs many operations by accessing data stored in the short term memory or that primary memory the speed and performance of the computer system depend on the amount of uh, that primary memory that is installed on your computer means if the amount uh, of memory is high then definitely your computer will process the data fastly and the uh, one thing more the primary memory is a directly accessible to the cpu cpu stands for central processing unit the cpu continuously uh, reads instructions stored there and executes them as required means what type of the instructions are stored in the primary memory primary memory or ram the cpu read all those stores uh, these uh, all those uh, instructions and execute all those uh, instructions accordingly means what type of the instructions are there since the secondary memory or storage device is not directly accessible by the cpu the computer usually uses its input output channels to access the secondary storage or secondary memory and to transfer the desired data to primary storage means when you <coughs> read want to read any data from the secondary memory the data will be transferred to primary memory so secondary memory is a basically non volatile memory means it does not vanish out the data even uh, the computer is a shut down and uh, primary memory is a uh, volatile memory means if the computer is a shut down or any breakdown in the electricity your data will be vanished out or uh, erased uh, modern computer system typically have two orders of the magnitude more secondary storage than primary storage because secondary storage is less expensive than the primary storage so mostly computer uh, people uh, extend their secondary storage so this is a major difference between the primary memory and secondary memory now we will discuss about the magnetic tape or magnetic storage so magnetic storage is the storage of data in the magnetized medium uh, magnetic uh, storage uses different patterns of magnetization in the magnetizable material to store data and it is a form of non volatile memory means non volatile memory means a memory which store the data on permanent basis and the volatile memory that is store the data on temporary uh, memory so this is uh, a non volatile memory data uh, do not erase or delete even the computer is shut down or any uh, electricity breakdown the information is accessed uh, using one or more read write head okay so when you store the data uh, in the secondary memory or storage devices it is a read or write through the uh, head so this is a head if you look here this is the head when uh, this uh, plate or disk spins or rotate through this motor this is a motor then this head uh, 
reads or write if you are writing or storing the data then they said store the data and if you are reading or opening the data again this head will work to open the data <clears throat> so magnetic storage uh, media are widely used to store computer data as well as audio and video signals or data means we cannot store only the text data or images but we may store the audio or text data as well so in the field of computing the term magnetic storage is used and in the field of audio and video production the term magnetic recording is used so uh, this magnetic storage is a basically common form of storage in computers or um, uh, audio video productions uh, different forms of storage are here like if you look here this is the floppy disk disk 3.5 inches and so on and if you look here this disk is uh, layered by the magnetic uh, magnetic or the iron oxide and this is the hard disk and if you look here this is the uh, some alumina uh, some, some some sort of the plate which is uh, layered by the magnetic tape and uh, this is the head that read and write the data and this uh, disk is spins or rotate through this motor and if uh, this is the common uh, this is the tape uh, cassette so it is used to uh, for recording as well as playing so you may record your sound songs and so on this disc this is the magnetic tape and uh, if you want to uh, listen or hear those song or your recording you may hear by inserting this tape into tape so nowadays uh, these are changed no one is uh, using this uh, uh, tape cassette because no tape recorders or tape players are available Uh, these all things, these both things, no doubt we are using the hard disk, but uh, the floppy disk and the this uh, tape cassette, these both are changed by the uh, CDs and the DVDs. So and even the especially this um, tape cassette is uh, changed by the CDs, DVDs, and even the flash drive as well. So these are both source of the storing and uh, storing are changed by the CDs, DVDs, flash drives. Uh, we don't use these both source of the media for restoring but we use a cd dvd or flash drive <clears throat> uh, magnetic uh, as we are discussing about the magnetic tape so the most common and uh, enduring uh, form of a removal uh, removable storage technology is basically magnetic storage for example uh, as i shown you 1.44 or 3.5 inches uh, disk uh, have been around for about 15 years but now no one is using such type of the disk aids and uh, they are not found even nowadays in the computer market because cd rom and flash they have replaced uh, these both as i told you already so in most cases the removable uh, magnetic storage uses a drive uh, which is a mechanical device that connects to the computer so you insert uh, the media which is the part of uh, that actually stores the information into drives when we these were uh, disks were inserted into the uh, computers uh, where uh, when we store the data and when we want to open the data which was available uh, on this so but there was a lot of drawbacks uh, of these uh, disks as well for example if you scratch anything it will not uh, work properly and the same uh, but this was uh, this was more comfortable if even it's a broke uh, break you may connect them but uh, this was very sensitive so just like uh, hard drive the media used in the removable uh, magnetic storage device is uh, coated with the iron oxide this is the iron oxide even this one so this oxide is a ferromagnetic material uh, meaning that if you expose it to magnetic field it is uh, permanently uh, magnetized uh, so the media is a typically called a disk like this one disk and uh, the, the drive uses a motor this is a motor uh, to rotate the media at a high speed and um, it um, access reads the stored information using similar devices called uh, heads so 
if you look here this is the disc and it uh, spins or rotates by this motor and this is a head that read means open or write or store the data so each head has a tiny uh, electromagnet uh, which uh, consists of an uh, iron core uh, webbed with the uh, wire so if you look here this is the head um, that is definitely uh, has a tiny electromagnetic that reads the uh, writes the disk the uh, electromagnetic applies a magnetic force to the oxide on the media and the oxide permanently remembers the uh, physics it sees so uh, during uh, writing the data signal or uh, uh, is a sent through the coil of wires to create a magnetic field in the core so means at the gap the magnetic flux forms a fringe pattern so this pattern bridges the gap and the flux uh, magnetizes the uh, oxide on the media so when the data is uh, read or write uh, <coughs> by the uh, on the drive uh, the read head pulls a varying magnetic field across the gap creating a varying magnetic field in the core and therefore a signal in the coil so the signal is then uh, sent to the computer as a binary data means you know it is a clear and we discussed several times in previous lectures that computer uses the binary a language that is consisted of zero and one so zero means true or positive charge and uh, oh sorry one is a true or positive charge and zero is a false or a negative charge same happens with the storage devices when you store the data and if storing it shows the one means the positive charge and if it, it is a not uh, uh, storing the data so it will show the negative charge or zero and same will be uh, with the opening when you will opening the data means it will read the data so where data is available it will show uh, one and uh, where data is uh, not uh, uh, available it will show the zero therefore uh, and uh, <coughs> all the uh, our slides are discussed are covered with the or in oxide so all the data passes is done with the uh, binary numbers means 1 or 0 the hard disk is a common data storage in computer which is used to store the data means huge uh, amount of the data you may store on the hard disk data is stored on the hard disk in the form of 0 and 1 as i told you because computer is using the binary numbers that is the zero and one the part of the hard disk that stores the data is known as a plater this is the plater or plate you may call it the plate or even the disk so and the technical name is a plater therefore the combination of plater is called platers so platers are circular disk made like if you look here it's a circular made uh, disk and uh, made of the non magnetic uh, material typically uh, aluminum alloy glass or uh, uh, ceramic and are coated with uh, thin layer of a magnetic material so platers uh, are further uh, separated into the tracks and uh, uh, sectors uh, where tracks are um, concentric circles uh, while sectors are pie shaped wedges on the track so um, if you look here these are the tracks in circle this line shows the tracks and what is there in this other this piece or this piece these are the sectors so data is a, oh sorry uh, this uh, disk space is shown in the tracks and the sectors so hard disk stores information in the form of magnetic fields data is stored digitally in the form of tiny magnetized regions on the platers uh, where each region present a bit it means a zero or one so to write data on the hard disk a magnetic field is placed on the tiny field in one of uh, these two uh, polarities so one is a north polar second is a south polar uh, oh. in orientation in the one direction like the ns can represent the one uh, while the opposite orientation uh, sn represents zero so this polarity is sensed by uh, integrated controllers built uh, 
built within the hard disk. So when we store the data, it is stored on a sector. A sector is basically the smallest physical storage unit on the disk that is available on the tracks. Means, for example, on the this disk, if you look here, this is the sector, and this is a part or section of the track that is a line surrounding the center is a basically track, and the parts or the section. And each track is called the sector, which is the smallest physical uh, sector. A sector, uh, a sector being the smallest physical storage unit, and the disk is almost always uh, 512 bytes in the size. Uh, so each disk sector is labeled using the uh, factory track positioning data. Uh, sector identification data is uh, written to the area immediately. Uh, before uh, the contents of the sector and identity uh, identifies the uh, starting address of the uh, sector. Therefore, all the sectors and tracks are labeled uh, when the uh, hard disk is uh, formatted. Uh, the optimal method of um, uh, storing a file on a disk in the uh, contiguous series that is all data in a stream is stored end to end in a single line. Uh, so, as many files are larger than the 512 bytes, it is up to the file system to allocate uh, sectors to store the files data. For example, if the size is 800 bytes, so and uh, you want to store um, the hard disk since the, your sector size is 512, so what will happen? Definitely, the two sectors will be reserved, uh, allocated uh, for that uh, data because uh, two sectors uh, will be 1024 uh, bytes since the data which you want to store is 800. So therefore two sectors will be uh, reserved for the data which we are storing. And all the sectors I told you and uh, tracks are labeled, uh, which helps in storing and um, uh, reading the data. When we find the data, read the data, or the commonly what we call it, the, uh, open the data, then uh, we open the data table, some identification numbers, uh, which are labeled to the sectors. <laughs> so basically, uh, uh, when we uh, sectors uh, are generated uh, through filing system, as I told you, so there are different uh, types of the filing uh, allocation tables uh, of the filing allocation systems, uh, like the FATE and the uh, NTFS, which we are going to discuss here. The disk formatting um, is a process to configure the data storage device, such as a hard drive, floppy disk, and a flash drive when we are going to uh, use them for the very first time, or we can say initial time when we ins install the hard disk, or when we install the floppy disk or uh, flash drive, we are going to format them to uh, convert them in uh, any file allocation table that the sectors and the tricks are created properly. Uh, even the uh, disk formatting is usually required when the new operating system is uh, going to be used or installed by the user or uh, when there is a space uh, issue, it means if you have a space issue or you have some, you want to partition the hard disk, what will you do? You you require, uh, or if you require some additional space, what will you do? So you will definitely format the uh, hard disk. And even uh, sometimes uh, formatting is uh, uh, required uh, when the new hard disk is uh, installed, as I told you already, uh, then also the disk formatting is uh, required. So these are the conditions when we are going to format the hard disk or flash drive or floppy drive or any storage device uh, to uh, make a uh, the uh, space, uh, huge space or some when we want to party. In for example, you have a home and you want to 
partition the home into different uh, room, uh, rooms, uh, so it will benefit you uh, in uh, living and passing the life. Same, uh, feel the hard disk is a home, and you will partition uh, that uh, hard disk into different uh, rooms. Uh, we are calling it the partitions, and we identify them like the C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, and so on. So that's why we are going to, uh, we uh, mostly uh, format the hard disk. So when we format the disk, um, and then the existing files within the disk are uh, erased because if you are formatting your hard disk and that hard disk is you are using already, so data will be erased or deleted, which is uh, available on the hard disk. So therefore you need to transfer that data to uh, somewhere else, it means to some other storage device that you may uh, save your important data. Uh, on a hard disk, data is uh, stored in thin um, concentric tracks, you know, which we uh, saw, saw here. These are the concentric tracks or some uh, what, uh, very similar uh, tracks which are divided into the uh, sectors. So, <coughs> Um, a drive head uh, which we saw here this is the drive head um, uh, while in one position can, can read or uh, write a circular ring or uh, a trick means this drive uh, head what uh, done this, uh, it reads the data uh, from these circular tricks uh, which is divided into different sectors So what is the fate of file allocation table? So file allocation table is a, a computer file system architecture. I told you when we are going to uh, format the hard disk or any storage device, we give them uh, definitely any file allocation table, maybe the fate or maybe the NTFS or maybe someone else. But commonly we are using the file allocation table. Uh, so originally it is developed in the 1977 for use on floppy disk. Uh, it was adapted uh, for use on hard disk and other devices uh, after uh, that. So it is often supported for compatibility reasons uh, uh, by current operating systems for personal computers and even the um, for many mobile uh, devices and embedded systems allowing the uh, interchange of data between disparate uh, systems. Uh, the increase in uh, disk drives capacity required three major uh, variants, of, which are the, for example, the FAT8, FAT16, FAT32, and so on. So the FAT means FAT stands for file allocation table is basically standard. Standard. So, and uh, this standard has also uh, been expanded in other ways while generally uh, preserving uh, backward compatibility with the existing software. So a FAT32 file system allows for a default cluster size as small as a 4KB. So since the 4KB uh, means it's a very good uh, space uh, to store the data, which um, FAT allows you. Another file allocation system is an NTFS, uh, network technology filing system. Uh, sometimes it is called uh, the new technology file system. It is the file system that uh, the Windows NT operating system uses for storing and retrieving the file on hard disk. So NTFS um, has several technical improvements over the file systems that it uh, superseded like the file allocation table and uh, high performance file system systems. Uh, such as input support for metadata and advanced data structures to improve performance, reliability, and disk space use. So uh, additional extensions are a, a more elaborate security system based on uh, access control lists, uh, more commonly called the uh, SELs and file system gen uh, generating as well. So uh, NTFS is basically uh, supported in other desktop and several uh, server operating systems. Uh, Windows Server is um, using the NTFS uh, filing system because it is very good for the network uh, operating systems. And initially it was developed for the network filing system. It keep your data and files safe and secure than the other uh, file allocation systems. 
NTFS is the, uh, we may call it the most modern desktop and um, server operating system. So NTFS, uh, even the, the Windows uses NTFS for its uh, system drive and by default for uh, most non-removable drives as well. Uh, whereas the FAT32 is an older file system uh, that's not uh, as effective as uh, NTFS and it doesn't support as big a feature set uh, uh, but uh, does offer greater compatibility with other operating systems. So now it depends on the user that uh, you know, which type of the file allocation system is going to use. So when we you will format your drive, it uh, the system will ask you either you will format uh, into within the FAT32 or NTFS. So if you are using some networking uh, software, so you are on the network or if your system is a server or the workstation of any network, you should prefer the NTFS, but for the common use, uh, I think the FAT32 is uh, very good. And so it provides you uh, all the facilities which you required. required. <coughs> so in the uh, storage devices, the hard disk is a very common, uh, device uh, that is uh, also the secondary memory and pro definitely primary storage uh, is significant storage device in a computer system. And hard disk uh, uh, works or uh, read the, the what you call uh, means the spin uh, in, in the RPM means the it's a count of a spin or the rotation uh, is uh, used by the RPM. Now RPM is uh, basically uh, revolutions per minute means how many spins or rotations per minute. It is the number of turns in one minute. So it is a unit of a rotational speed or the frequency of a, a rotation around a fixed uh, axis. It is if you read it uh, about seven uh, discs are here, and uh, it's the center, and these are the head. Each head reads the each disc uh, for the writing and uh, reading the files. So this is the spindle that spins the uh, discs, and the discs are aluminum plates basically, which are uh, layered by the uh, magnetic uh, coating. Uh, removable media is a form of uh, computer storage that is uh, designed to be inserted and uh, removed from system. So some forms of uh, removable media such as the optical disks uh, require a reader to be installed in the computer. In the old computers now computer operating systems are um, automatically read the disk, uh, disk no, removable disk, especially the optical disk. Well, uh, and even the uh, these uh, operating system, we use the USB flash drive, HDDs, and other hard disks as well. So which have uh, all the hardware required to read them uh, built into the device. So only need to driver to be installed to communicate uh, with the device. But here the drivers are required for the old operating system. New operating system uh, do not need to install any driver for such type of the devices. They automatically detect. Uh, such type of the storage devices and read the data which is available on uh, that uh, data. So very useful storage devices, uh, removable devices are very useful because for example, uh, you are, uh, <clears throat> you need data at your office and sometimes at your home or sometimes uh, elsewhere, you don't need to put your computer system or put any file in a hard copy, but you just need uh, to copy the data from your computer on flash drive or on any disk or DVD and uh, take that USB or external uh, storage uh, to when you, where are you going and insert in that system and uh, show your data to others or even the presentation data or even you may work on that. So uh, our the word it's, uh, you may use it. <coughs> so 
uh, 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 the removable uh, disks are the storage are the basically uh, portable disks and uh, several variants uh, emerged in the removable file as i told you uh, the uh, external hard disk dvds cds flash and so on so another thing is a uh, hot swipe so hot swipe is the replacement of the hard drive uh, which are we, traditionally we are using hard drive with our systems uh, so it is a replacement of the uh, hard drive cd rom drive or other uh, devices with a similar device while the computer system using it remains in operation so the uh, replacement can be uh, because of uh, device failure or uh, for storage devices to substitute other data so these are very uh, useful i uh, mean the hard swipeable hard disks are useful and uh, these hard disks has uh, have, a, have a replaced all the traditional storage devices <clears throat> so most computer hardware such as the cpus and memories are uh, only uh, hold uh, pluggable Uh, however it is a common for high uh, end servers and a main friends to feature hot capable uh, capability for other components such as uh, pci and uh, sata sata drives so a well known example of a hot swipe functionality is the junior cell serial bus usb connections uh, which allows users to add or remove uh, peripherals such as a portable hard drive uh, so such a uh, devices are characterized as a hot uh, swipeable or a hot uh, pluggable uh, depending on the supply so these are really helps you in transforming the data and saving the data because your traditional hard disk is attached with the computer and if the computer is going to be faulty or operating system is going to be faulty and your data uh, was not transferred before it's a fault so definitely your data may be Uh, erased but if you are using the hard swipeable hard disk or the <coughs> storage devices you may uh, save your data uh, important data and uh, files and so on so and even nowadays it is provided into gbs and the external hard disks um, uh, which are the some example of the hard swipeable are in a tbs so you may connect uh, these hard drives through the usb as i told you the usb cable is a there and you may attach those hard disk or flash drives or those hard disk or c dvds dvds with your system to save the uh, data <coughs> so in the removable uh, storage devices uh, there are the optical disks uh, or optical storage uh, which are a uh, very common storage devices optical storage is the storage of uh, data on optically readable medium so data is recorded by making mouse in a pattern that can be read uh, read back with the uh, aid of light usually a beam of laser light uh, precisely focused on a spinning optical disk if you uh, look at your uh, cd rom cd or the dvd you look uh, a small hole uh, within the disk that spins uh, when we insert into the system so in a older example of uh, optical uh, storage that does not uh, require the use of computers is a microfilm so there are other names of um, optically storing data and new methods are in the development so an optical disk drive is a device in a computer that can uh, read cd rom or the other optical uh, disks such as uh, dvds optical storage basically differs from uh, uh, other data storage techniques that make use of uh, other technologies such as uh, um, magnetism magnetism uh, such as a floppy disk or hard disk or semiconductors such as a flash memory single cds cd stand for the compact disk uh, which can uh, hold around 700 uh, megabytes so uh, cd rom is a very common uh, example of the optical storage devices most um, it was commonly used but nowadays even the cd rom is replaced by the flash drive as well so when we store the data and the cd rom I means the write up a cd rom it is stored by burning 
another type of uh, <clears throat> what i call uh, the strobe device optical strobe device is a dvd worm so dvd uh, stands for the digital worst type disc or uh, digital video disc it is a digital optical disc storage format invented and developed in 1995 and released in uh, late 1996 the medium can store uh, any kind of digital data and it is widely used for software and other computer files as well as video programs watched using the dvd players so a uh, dvd uh, dvds after uh, higher storage capacity then compact disc uh, while having the same dimensions uh, as well as the cd rom so pre recorded dvds are uh, mass produced using uh, molding machines that physically stamp data onto the dvd such uh, discs are form of dvd rom because uh, data can only be read and uh, not written or erased so the blank uh, recordable dvd discs or dvd r or dvd plus r can be recorded once using a dvd recorder and then function as a dvd rom uh, rewritable dvds or the uh, dvd rw or dvd plus rw and dvd even dvd rom uh, can be recorded and erased many times it means you may store your data uh, on the dvd uh, be writable several times even you erase the data like uh, in the flash drive however the flash drive is a more uh, strong than the dvds and cds because cds and dvds may be unuseful when these are scratched or when something else or the dotted and so on so dvds are used in a dvd video consumer digital video format and dvd audio consumer digital audio format so single layer dvds can hold 4.7 gb while dual layered can hold 8.5 gb so this can be even double to 9.4 gb and 17 uh, gb by making the dvd double sided so now with the readable surfaces on the both sides of the disc uh, hd dvds were able to um, store 15 gb with a single layer, layer and 30 gb with a uh, dual uh, layer so <clears throat> these are the uh, more uh, important and powerful than the uh, cd roms and uh, nowadays uh, uh, these are uh, using uh, by the both sides but even the single side are also used and common in the market and even if you uh, all mostly uh, people are using the dvd player to uh, play the movies family functions and audio video songs and so on but these may be used for dvd for the text reading image showing and other things as well Uh, recordable optical technologies means the recordable optical storage devices these are also important uh, these are means the cdr for example compact disc recordable cdr means the compact disc uh, recordable and um, it is a digital optical disc storage format so a cdr disc is a, a compact disc that can be uh, written uh, once and uh, read uh, arbitrary many times means once you have uh, recorded the disc once you have write the disc you may read several times thousands times x time till it is uh, in a fine condition so, uh, cdr disc uh, are the uh, readable by uh, most play in cd readers that is the cd readers manufactured before the uh, introduction of cdr so this is an advantage over cdr w which can be rewritten but cannot be played on many plain cd readers as a cd or is a played so a cd recorder uh, writes data to a cdr disk by uh, pulsing its laser to heat areas of the organic dye layer the, the writing process does not uh, produce um, uh, indentations uh, or what we call it the pits so instead the heat permanently changes the optical properties of the dye uh, changing the reflectivity of uh, those areas <clears throat> so using a, a low laser power 
so is not uh, for the uh, alter the dye the disc is we bake in the same way as uh, uh, cd rom so uh, however the reflected light is uh, modulated not by pits but uh, uh, by the alternating regions of um, uh, heated and um, unaltered dye so the the change of uh, intensity of the reflected laser uh, now what call it the laser radiation is uh, transformed into an electrical signals from which the digital information is recovered or decoded so once a section of a cdr is written uh, it cannot be erased or rewritten on like a cdr w is a rewritable so cd r can be recorded in multiple sections a cd recorder can write to cdr using several uh, methods uh, which may be the disk at once or the track at once or the cdr can emulate uh, disk at once means the whole cdr is uh, written in one session uh, with uh, no gaps and the disk is a uh, closed meaning uh, uh, meaning no more data can be added and the cdr effectively becomes a standard read only cd so means um, with uh, no gaps between the tracks the disk is full cd is a uh, full Uh, since uh, while the uh, track at once means uh, data are written uh, to the cdr one track at a time but the cd is uh, left open for uh, further recording at later st uh, stage so it also allows data and audio to reside on the same cdr and the packet writing uh, is uh, used to record uh, data to a cdr in packets uh, allowing extra information to be Uh, appended to a disk at a later time or for information on that disk to be made invisible so in this way cdr can uh, emulate uh, cdrw however each time information on the disk is altered so more data has to be written to the disk so there are uh, or there can be a compatibility issues Uh, with this format and some cd drives as well however cd are uh, no, cd recordable are very good uh, for uh, recording the data or for writing that data and um, it may be used for several times at a different uh, cd players or the cd drives and um, uh, data cannot be changed even as it may be changed in the hard disk or cd drive in cdr the data once you have stored that cannot be changed it's also the benefit I mean the perfect data will be uh, stored and no one can change it and but, so it's a, even you may, uh, you can continue adding unit full till the cdr uh, uh, is a uh, available however you may be uh, record it for a single time into different section the uh, sessions one another thing is the photo cd so photo cd is a basic system designed by codec uh, for digitizing and uh, saving photos onto a cd Uh, it is uh, launched uh, in 1991 so the disk was designed to hold nearly 100 high quality images scan prints and slides using a special property recording the photo uh, cd disk uh, uh, cd system gained a fair level of acceptance among professional photographers due to the low cost of high quality film scans so it is not the common cd but it is a special purpose cd that, that's why it's called the photo cd and the codec a very famous company of the photo uh, rolls or photo disc it is developed uh, that uh, cd so definitely the cd is uh, used to store the photos images and other things and um, less expensive than the other storage uh, devices therefore the professionals were Uh, preferring preferring to uh, purchase this cd <clears throat> so is the there are uh, recordable uh, cds so there are also the recordable dvds so dvd recordable uh, and the dvd rewritable are optical disc recording technologies so both um, uh, both terms describe dvd optics discs that can be uh, written to by a dvd recorder whereas only rewritable discs are uh, able to erase and uh, <clears throat> uh, rewrite data uh, 
data is written uh, means uh, when we uh, say that data is written on any optical disk means it is a burned now it may be on the cd rom or on the or on the dvd rom so data is a stored uh, the term is a used for uh, storing or writing is a burn so <clears throat> and that burning is a uh, burning to the disk is a done by a laser so uh, rather than the data being placed onto the uh, disk during manufacture uh, like a dvd rom so pressing is used in mass production primarily for the distribution of the uh, home video like cdr the dvd record was used uh, die to store the data uh, during and the burning of a single bit the laser's intensity uh, affects the refractive properties of the uh, burned die so by varying the laser intensity quickly high density data is written in precise tracks so since the written tracks are made of uh, dark and die dark and die uh, the die side of a recordable dvd has uh, distinct color as well uh, therefore uh, there are different uh, formats exist uh, in the recordable uh, dvds now it depend on you the which type of the formats and uh, it allows home users to create dvds of their home functions and other functions even the movies and even the text files and other files as well to keep them uh, for a long time and uh, <clears throat> no doubt uh, these are very important okay so we were discussing about the traditional hard disk uh, traditional storage devices like the hard disk floppy disk uh, and uh, we were discussing about the um, optical devices storage devices now we will discuss about the solid state devices so solid state uh, electronics means semiconductor electronic um, electronic equipment using the semiconductor devices such as uh, transistors diodes and uh, integrated circuits uh, commonly called the ics the term is also used for devices in which sem uh, semiconductor electronics uh, which have no moving parts Uh, replaced devices with the moving parts such as uh, the solid state relay, uh, relay in which transistor switches are used in place of moving arm uh, electromechanical relay or the solid state drives commonly called the ssd a type of a semiconductor memory used in computers to replace hard disk drives uh, which store data and a rotating disk the term solid state uh, become popular at the beginning of uh, the semiconductor era in the 1960s to distinguish the uh, this new technology based on the transistors so in which the electronic actions um, or the electronic action of devices occurred in solid state from previous electronic equipment that used uh, vacuum tubes so in which the electronic uh, action occurred in uh, Uh, gaseous uh, state so definitely uh, these storage devices data is stored physically on these uh, devices and uh, no magnetic or laser these are very fast now no magnetic or laser means these devices store the data electronically so they don't have the magnetic layer disk uh, like in the traditional disk and uh, the second or third slide we saw so these uh, type of the hard uh, storage devices don't need um, any uh, magnetic of uh, the laser means no need the cds and dvds and the hard disks um, are not the solid digital so these are the different these store the data electronically uh, on the storage devices so uh, i tell you the examples of solid uh, state devices <clears throat> Uh, like the flash memory uh, found in the cameras and usb drives and commonly used by all the people not only the computer professionals but even the common people are using if you um, saw different um, buses coaches and different vehicles are using the flash memory different people are using flash memory for different purposes so it is a very common and flash memory does not use any uh, magnetic uh, 
like uh, layered disk like the hard disk and it is uh, not like the dvd or cd so that's why i told you in the previous slide that solid state device storage devices are different than the others and these are Uh, not using uh, not storing the data in a traditional way is like uh, the cd and the hard disk are uh, storing the data so these are just uh, store the data in a electronic uh, electronic uh, form <coughs> <coughs> sorry so flash memory is in a basically uh, electronic uh, or non volatile memory and it is a definitely solid state memory uh, Uh, or the you may call it the storage medium that can be electrically erased and uh, reprogrammed so flash memory is a type of uh, uh, floating gate memory that was uh, invented at toshi by 1980s uh, based on the uh, ee prom electrically erasable programming uh, programmable read only memory ee prom So Toshiba commercially introduced flash memory to the market in 1987 while EEPROMs had uh, to be completely erased before being rewritten so flash memory stores the information in an array of memory cells uh, made from the floating gate transistors uh, in single level cell so each cell is store uh, only one bit of information and uh, multi level cells are amlc devices uh, including the triple level cell uh, can store uh, more than one bit uh, per cell so it depends on the your flash memory that what type of the flash memory you have therefore the flash memory is a, and i told you already that it is a non volatile mem computer memory now means what you mean by non volatile memory i told you in the first uh, second uh, first slide the volatile memories are like the uh, are the primary memories which is the data when you change the process or when you shut down the system or when, when there is some electrical uh, breakdown but the non volatile memory memories uh, do not uh, erase the data or vanish out the data even you change the process or uh, even you shut down the system or even there is a, uh, some sort of electrical breakdown so these are these uh, type of the storage devices uh, store the data on permanent basis and flash drive was um, also later developed uh, by intel means initially it was developed by toshiba but after that uh, intel has also developed the flash drive therefore the flash memory is an integrated circuit that does not need uh, continuous power to retain data if you look at your flash drive you don't need to connect any power device to your flash device so it does not need any uh, power uh, external power device however it will it takes the power from the system when you insert uh, through the usb port however the flash drives are expensive and then the cds and other storage devices today flash memory is a very popular and solid state devices are a practical replacement for large hard drives if you have the extra money so flash memory is a widely used with car radios cell phones digital cameras pdls solid state drives tablets and etc so picture is an example of uh, like the other things so it is a very common device uh, the common storage device which is used by all the people for different purposes <clears throat> another uh, example of the solid state uh, memory is uh, the smart cars now you have seen smart cars in different forms so like uh, first you look at your mobile cell phone that uh, uh, where you inserted the sim card sim card is also a smart card and if you look at the credit cards or the atm cards you will uh, nowadays the modern modern atm card or credit cards uh, are uh, uh, with the chip like that is called the smart cards so chip also stores the data and um, there are several use of the this chip or the smart card and if we uh, we define the smart card the smart card chip or the chip card or the integrated circuit card is a physically electronic authorization device used to control access to a 
uh, resources. So it is a typically a plastic uh, credit card sized card with an embedded uh, integrated circuit. Uh, many smart cars include a pattern of uh, metal contacts to electrically connect to the uh, internal chip. So others are uh, contact ways and uh, some are both. So smart cars can provide personal identification, uh, the authentication, uh, authentication or the data storage and the application processing. Uh, application include the identification, financial, mobile phones, SIM, uh, public uh, transit, computer security, schools, and healthcare, and etc. Different usage you may see or use the same uh, these cards for different purposes. Therefore, smart cards may provide strong security authentication for us. Single sign on means SSO uh, with the organization. Numerous nations have uh, deployed smart cards throughout their population, means the NICs, even the smart uh, card means what type of the NIC are you using? There is a smart card uh, attached. So it is a universal integrated circuit card uh, or sometimes the SIM card. Uh, SIM card basically stands for the subscriber identity uh, module or sometimes it is uh, abbreviated as a subscriber identification module. So it is also type of that smart card. So smart card, now I think you got it. It is not uh, other thing. And it is also type of the solid state memory where we store the our initial our basic information or identification. And it, it stores data as well. For example, you are if you are using your mobile SIM, you store different contacts on your uh, SIM. One another uh, storage that is the virtual storage uh, what type of the storage devices we discussed um, before are the uh, physical storage devices where we store the data in a physical form uh, but um, uh, means we can see the hard disk we can see the optical disk we can see the smart card we can see the flash drives and so on there several other but there is another part of the storing that is uh, the virtual storage and most of you, it's a commonly cloud storage, cloud computing, and so on. So storing data online and in cloud storage has become popular uh, as uh, people need to access their data from more than one device. Now, a very good benefit of the cloud storage is that if you are storing data on the hard disk or on the optical disk or on the finished drive, so no doubt data will... Uh, uh, data may be kept for a long time, but it is not safe. How it is not safe? Your flash drive may be corrupted due to any problem. Your hard, hard disk uh, may be corrupted or faulty due to any cause or reason. Even the uh, optical devices are used to corrupt or faulty because of uh, scratches and other things. So if these devices may be corrupted or faulty, your data will automatically be faulty and erased. So if your important data is stored on hard disk and your hard disk motor is not working, so definitely your data will be uh, erased. But if you are storing your important data on cloud, like the Gmail and hard, uh, Hotmail and other different companies are offering you uh, such type of the storage, uh, even even uh, in the free, for example, the Gmail offer you 15 GB free. And uh, if your data is more than 15 GB, then you uh, purchase the cloud uh, storage area. So it is a very important that keep your data safe and secure. Cloud computing is a term used to describe services provided over a network by collection of uh, remote servers. So this abstract cloud of um, computers provide massive distributed storage and processing, processing power that can be accessed by any internet connected device running a web browser. And basically cloud storage is a model of a computer data storage in which the digital data is stored in logically pools. So physically storage is uh, multiple servers Something, sometimes um, in the multiple locations and the physical environment is uh, typically owned and uh, managed by uh, hosting the company. Even the, uh, no doubt, uh, these companies have multiple servers at a multiple locations. And 
definitely these are very much beneficial for example from asia server your data may be erased but that may be available on the another server so same with the if you are uh, uploading your pictures on any social media or other things and and after some time you erase or delete that data photo that photo data will not be erased uh, complete completely from the social media that may be in other servers but it will not be shown to you so these cloud storage providers are responsible for keeping the data available and accessible all the times when you are required the physical environment protected and running as well and it keep the data secure as well along with your passwords and other things so people and organization buy or lease this storage capacity i Uh, from the providers to store user uh, to store uh, definitely their data as i told you okay, if uh, for example google provide you 15 gb free and if you uh, you have more than 15 gb you may purchase the uh, a, a online storage so, so or the cloud storage as well so these services means the cloud storage services may be accessed through a a uh, co-located uh, cloud computing services a uh, web service application programming interface are uh, commonly called the api or by the uh, application that you uh, utilize the api such as a cloud desktop storage a cloud storage gateway or a web based content uh, magnetic system so it is also type of the storage but it is a uh, virtual means that is a Uh, not in your system but it is a totally networked system that is available online and you don't need to take any usb or physical hard uh, storage device to show your or take your data in your for example you are in pakistan and you are going to another country and you want to open your data you may open from this cloud storage devices even you even because if you are taking the flash drive cd drive that may be problematic with uh, for you or that may be uh, lose uh, may be stolen or something well something else may be happen with those storage devices but there is a nothing with the cloud storage if you are keeping your data on the cloud okay so it was about the cloud uh, storage okay, where we should store and how storing devices working another is the optimizing performance so a disk optimizer uh, is a process to organize uh, complex the data to maximize free disk space a good example of a disk uh, comparison software program is a microsoft windows utility known as a double space or even the other operating systems are offering you these services as well but for example uh, we talk about the microsoft uh, optimizer so microsoft drive optimizer for uh, formerly disk uh, defragmenter mentor is a utility in a microsoft windows uh, designed to increase data access Uh, speed by rearranging files stored on a disk to occupy contiguous storage location a technique called uh, defragmentation so def defragmentation a disk minimizes uh, head travel which reduces the time it takes uh, to read files from and write files to the disk so what um, how it works because our data is spread in different drives so it will collect the data and free the space which is for example you have spread your all the uh, belongings or things in your room so you feel difficulty of where should i sit all the some things you have kept on the sofa some on bed some on at the other things so your room is occupied by your things so when you will sit down those things means you keep the things at a specific uh, place that is basically the optimization or the decomp uh, uh, what i say the uh, defragmenting means you are uh, setting the things in a proper way and then definitely your uh, room will be open and um, looking fine because things are at their uh, own places so as a result of the decrease read and write time the microsoft drive optimizer uh decreases system start up uh, times for systems starting from magnetic storage devices such as a hard drive 
However, defragmentation uh, cannot be run on extra devices such as uh, solid state drives, uh, uh, like the, uh, the optical drives, especially. So these are, uh, we uh, clean the things, uh, not clean, uh, we don't uh, uh, delete, but uh, in this process, data is kept in a proper way at some proper place. <coughs> Another thing is a file comparison. It is also important. Uh, so file comparison is a process of uh, packaging a file or files to use less disk space. For example, you have different classes of things and uh, kept on the bed or other things, but uh, you take a build case and uh, put all your things in a single build case, so it will uh, save your time and uh, several data uh, you have kept in the build case, same as a file comparison. So comparison, uh, comparison software allows you to take many files and uh, compare them into one file, which is uh, similar than the uh, combined size of uh, originals. As we all do, we different, we uh, put the laptop and all the accessories of laptop in a single bag. Otherwise, we take several things at a single time. So comparison is a means to take your files data in a single folder and compare it to save the space of your memory. Uh, this um, uh, comparison of these files shrinks the size of a file or files as well. And it takes up less space on the disk as, for example, you have exploited the things, but now if you do, you have the 10 uh, items on the disk and uh, uh, so definitely 10 items will be shown to you. But if you take a single file and compare it, so it will show to you single folder and definitely it will take a less space. So it reduces the disk performance and will increase disk capacity as well. Um, the type of the, these compression files like the PKZIP, WinZIP, and WinRAR as well. So these are all the things uh, were about uh, the, uh, uh, what I say, <coughs> the <coughs> uh, storage and the way of storing and way of compressing, optimizing all the things. And you hope you learned a lot. I hope you will uh, watch again this lecture to get more information. And if um, it is possible for you, even uh, you may uh, make the notes. So thank you very much, uh, my dear students. Uh, next time we will uh, uh, meet with uh, another uh, lecture topic for the next week. Take care, stay home in the time of COVID-19 and um, keep yourself and your family safe. Take care, Allah Hafiz, thank you.